Tonight, more than a dozen people are facing charges as city police crack down on guns, drugs, and other violent crime in South Baltimore. While several suspects are in custody, six remain at large right now. WJZ is at city police headquarters. Police say these suspects are driving up crime numbers across our city. Abba Joy. Mary, good evening to you. 14 people were indicted in this case, but we're now learning that Baltimore City Police is turning to the city for help because some people, as you mentioned, are still on the loose. Brooklyn in the southern part of the city has been a headache for Baltimore City Police because of concentrated crime. This very small geography in the Brooklyn community was disproportionately responsible for the violence in our city. So we had to do something about it. Monday, in what should have been a major win, the commissioner announced 14 people were indicted on drug distribution and conspiracy charges, but only eight suspects are in custody. Police say six other suspects are still on the loose. Police believe the suspects are behind a string of violent crimes in the community. Homicides, robberies, carjackings, shootings. Some days, I, you know, on the nice days, I walk home. So it's just like about me watching my back, just hoping that it's safe for me to get to and from work. So far in 2017, there have been at least 151 homicides in the city, but this one neighborhood of Brooklyn has had at least seven of those homicides. Now, some people in the South Baltimore community agree with the commissioner in saying there are a string of factors that contribute to this crime. Councilman Ed Reisinger represents the district. He says citizens are stepping up and speaking out. I am very glad that it happened. It's about time. Um, uh, the community of Brooklyn and Curtis Bay have been seized by prostitution, drug dealers, crime in, in those two communities. This business owner is just days away from opening a church here. He says the gap between generations needs to be bridged. We as a community have to step up. The household has to step up. We can put the onus on everyone else, but it starts at home. Once again, here's a look at the six suspects police say they are still looking for. We want to let you know that state's attorney Marilyn Mosby stresses that they are innocent until proven guilty. Reporting live tonight at police headquarters, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. And police say the suspects have not yet been charged with any acts of violence.